I'm Julie Blanner from the Lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share easy ideas for entertaining, home decor, and so much more. You've seen the living room, the guest bedroom, the stair nook, the modern lower living room, and so much more, the lake cottage. But today, I'm going to take you in to see behind the design of our new modern bathroom. The whole bathroom was previously pretty dark and tiny. While we couldn't expand the walls, we could do a lot to maximize space and light using some of my tricks on how to add light to a room. We actually didn't originally plan on updating this space, but I got a little itch in me and decided to take it up a notch. So we chose a sink with some modern sleek lines, added a lot of beautiful brass hardware, and kept this renovation pretty simple. This bathroom is small but mighty. Most would think it's just a half bath, but the builder put in a full-size bathtub that doubles as a shower. It works really well for entertaining as we often have guests and have a full house. That way it gives us three full bathrooms to our four bedrooms because everyone seems to be getting ready at the same time. You come in from off the lake and you wanna shower and get ready for dinner. And this allows us to do that and really accommodate a lot of people. This bathroom didn't come without struggles. In fact, very little at our homes too. Despite our best efforts and planning, it seems like something always goes wrong. And in this bathroom, it was the wallpaper. Now we've done this bathroom not once, but twice. Why? Well, hey, we're not perfect either. We had originally decided on using grass plot, and by we, I mean me. I had my heart set on it. Unfortunately, I believe it was a little bit too difficult for the installer to install, and it was a total chop job. And after looking at it for about two years, we decided to take the opportunity and redo it. And in the meantime, we decided to go with a fun and flirty pattern. I really love this pattern of wallpaper. I just thought it was kind of whimsical and pretty and beachy and exactly how I want to feel down at the lake. So it's also really amazing when you just kind of see a little peek of it. You know, most of our home is a warm cream. When you just see a little peek of it through the front door as you're entering our home or across from the kitchen, it just feels special. And you almost want to just go and check it out and see what it's like. So anyways, I thought it was just kind of a fun place to play with pattern and wallpaper and what better space to do than a bathroom because it's small and wallpaper is expensive. So we wallpapered it with a really pretty pattern and to bring out the pretty blue hue, we accented it with a really pretty light fixture. I love this wall sconce. It's really difficult finding something to work with the existing electrical without having to do a whole lot of rerouting and reworking which just was not what we were up for on this task. So I found a beautiful sconce and I had it custom made with these navy blue sconces. And it's just kind of fun and really draws your eye up, which makes this teeny tiny bathroom feel larger. Now to make this room appear larger and brighter, I used a really long mirror with really clean, lean lines. And I think it did just the trick. It reflects light from the outside spaces and it draws your eye up to the ceiling, creating the illusion of space. The same factors in for the pedestal sink. A pedestal sink allows you to see beyond it rather than having the storage under it that stops your eye. And so it gives the illusion of additional space while it also opens up the footprint, leaving additional space for a rug and wastebasket, etc. Now, I love integrating some playful, fun elements, and this tassel shower curtain does just that. I really love it, it's super simple, it's white, which is always right. 
if we ever decide to redo this bathroom, and please tell me no, that I will never get the itch to do this again. It goes right along with it, or I could shuffle it to another room, etc. But I just love the bright white, and again, that kind of filters in the light so it doesn't feel so dark in the shower since it is a tinier bathroom. You know how much I love brass. Well, I incorporated bright brass throughout the bathroom. A really inexpensive adjustable shower curtain rod, the faucet, the towel hanger, and even the robe hook, all brass. And it's complemented with the brass light fixture. The bright polished brass makes it feel really modern, very fresh. And that's exactly the goal here at the Lake Cottage. I wanted to make this home feel a lot more modern and less traditional than our St. Louis home, while still, you know, sticking with my signature style. For a little more pattern, I added in a blue and white striped towel that also has some tassels on it. You see the theme. But sometimes I flip back and forth. I also really love this white dotted towel and it adds in some nice texture. I love adding texture and pattern wherever possible, especially if I'm going with some pretty muted colors. Now, one project that we haven't gotten to yet is painting the grout. If you've seen that video, it's such a quick and easy way to make you know, dated grout feel really up to date and fresh and kind of again, give that clean white slate. We're adding that to our winter 2020 to-do list. You can see so much more of our Lake Cottage linked in the playlist below. Don't forget to click subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon.